Western influences and a journey through time is what has inspired these young artists to exhibit their works of art. This show is all about the potentials of the youth and so it's no surprise that a handful of them are rubbing minds with one of Africa's renowned art collectors, Yamisi Shilin, at this exhibition tagged Tokumbo at the National Museum in Lagos, which is done by three young artists, Simisola Babalola, Omolamiwa Abayomi and Kamal Adisa. Tokumbo, in the sense of my works, relates to um, all my works have a westernized influence, but Tokumbo in the sense of my works relates to the feeling that regardless of this westernized influence, everything has to come back home. It relates to the feeling of being at home. It has to relate to Africanism and Nigerianism and being at home. Everything that relates to me as a Biomi Omolamiwa, including where I'm from, which is a key element of who I am. He is later introduced to the audience and has words of encouragement for the young men and women here as Prince Shillen explains the potentials of a creative mind and the value added to the society. The beauty of our art is that it is one profession where you will be known all over the world. Look at the Kuti, Ransom Kuti family. The professor was a professor of medicine. He doesn't have the name like Fela Nikola Kukuti has. Fela is dead now for about 20 years, but his name is still reverberated. Lagos State took his place, made it a museum. Ogun State now is converting the father's place into a museum. He will never die. That is what you are going to become. You become an immortal person in art. It makes you immortal. If I ask you who is the first engineer in the world, you don't know. Or who are the first engineers? You begin to cram your head. The first doctors will cram your head. But if I ask you, the first artists, oh, there will be names being, you know, even those who didn't read art will tell you about different artists. That is what art does for you. Time to meet the artist. The youngest in the bunch is 17-year-old Simisola Babalola, a visual storyteller with six pieces in this exhibition, whose inspiration springs from Lagos, but she zooms into the Ekpe community. The three of my works were picked out from a documentary I shot in Ekpe Fish Market. It explains, basically, it expresses the lives of the, everyone in Ekpe, and then the fish markets, how hardworking they are, and the environment in general, basically. Kamal and Lamiwa are studying abroad, and so their pieces explore Nigeria from that perspective. This exhibition is basically about the, the perspective of younger artists looking at Nigeria from a different way. Because, for example, Lamiwa and I are students who school outside the country, and it's not until you leave the country that you start to really see it in a different light, and you really start to appreciate it for, what, for the different things that make it up. And in this exhibition, we're basically trying to show the different ways that we are looking at the country overall. Kamal has 12 works here, inspired by his background. As much as he works with many colors, one always seems to attract his attention. I can work with multiple different types of colors, and I actually try to make my work my works diverse. But the, the color that I love to work with the most is blue. And that is because it's always been my favorite color, and it's just like very... It, blue, blue to me has a way of conveying different moods. It can either be a dull mood or it can be a bright mood. And I feel like the, the versatility of this color is what, is what like, I like about it the most. For Lamiwa, east or west, home is the best. And so whether he's working on any piece such as the ones in this show called Queen Idia, Black Life Matters, Women or Culture, 
the work must affect him one way or another, and it takes half a year to complete it. Um, Quinidia is modeled after the Benin, the Benin Ivory Mask. The Benin Ivory Mask is not at home right now. Yeah, it's somewhere in London. Yeah, this piece is meant to depict her in all her glory, in all her powerfulness, in the strength of a woman. I have untitled pieces. Um, about women, the PM relating to me, I'm a 20 year old man who is involved with women. I would make pieces about women. I have like this piece called Kimbo. They have pieces relating to um, Yoruba ancestry, pieces on goddesses, Yoruba goddesses. I have pieces on Black Lives Matter movements relating to me as a black man. So all my pieces yeah, relate somehow to me as a Biomi or Molamiwa. The group exhibition features paintings, sculptures, and mixed media works of art. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. Coming up next. The art community stands still to celebrate veteran artist Kolade Oshinowo. A man like this, you can't end it. You cannot end the celebration. I mean, you can imagine, um, but what we stand for is that we stand for organized planning, organized teamwork, and that is why we are here. It's a week filled with events, from exhibitions to live drawing sessions and more. A lot of them were my former students uh, who I knew when they were young in their teens. But a lot of them are now masters in their own rights. So it's glad uh, to be celebrated by them, to, to have been asked to sit down, you know, and uh, being drawn is it, it's a great thing. I, I'm, really, I'm really so delighted. Get the details when you tune in next week. So we look forward to celebrating Mr. Oshinowo on the next edition of the program. And that's something you won't want to miss. Till I see you again, remember that you can keep talking to me on any of our online platforms. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a lovely day.